Reverend Leviathan here in Nicholasville, Kentucky, with underground hip hop duo Flock to Murder. We got Joey Crows and Kicks Wicked. So, wow. th thank you guys for being with me. Uh, thanks for having me. So, this is awesome. yeah, well, I know you guys are about to play the gathering soon. So, for those people who aren't familiar with you, why don't you give us a little bit about your background? You want to go first? You want me to go first? Go ahead. I'm a hardcore motherfucker from the streets. Not really. Um, I'm from Lexington, Kentucky, man. Uh, I came up, uh, really started getting into hip-hop about 15 years old, uh, and really started doing it then. Uh, nothing really ever took off. Built some shits in my basement, and started a group called, uh, D.I.E., which landed me my first gig with Esham. You know, that's, that's where I wanted to be, Juggalo music, you know. I wasn't really wicked shit, but still in the same ballpark, I guess. I mean, would you call that that, what I was doing there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, somewhat. And um, it just kept going about that way until I met up with Kicks, Strange, and did some PMI shits. I'm not good at telling stories. That didn't work out, and we're fucked to murder now. You have to tell the shit better, because I There was that thing he did. His, he, he did a little time in Tijuana doing donkey shows. Uh, that's where I found him. Yeah, so. Yeah, you want to go from there? Fuck. <laughs> No. Yeah. But no, I'm Kicks Wicked. Um, I got into hip hop uh, probably around, I don't know, 16, 17 years old. I wasn't allowed to listen to the shit for a long time. So uh, I got turned on to Bone Thugs and Harmony and uh, East 99. That was kind of my introduction into hip hop. Uh, went off, started doing my own thing, uh, started a record label, a small little label in Lexington called Reliable Source Entertainment. And uh, we uh, ran with that for, I don't know, probably four or five years. I did more mainstream music. Uh, didn't really get into the wicked shit until I got with my wife, Shannon. She took me to my first Twisted show, introduced me to the whole scene, and I was hooked. And it just spoke to me. So, See, my thing was on, on, on that, uh, I'd always come up with it. My pops was real big into, you know, ICP, like, basement cuts and shit. He had that. Um, uh, like, I was, I was talking to you earlier today, you know, uh, still didn't really hit me till Bone Thugs, same thing, this is always Bone Thugs at 3-6. Mm -hmm. You know, I heard that shit, and I was like, damn, it's got me moving, it's got me, you know, feeling some shit, so, I always thought, you know, I want to make people feel the way that that's making me feel, so I just kind of sank my teeth into it, and it was really pitiful for a long time, you know what I'm saying, like, starting up, and, uh, just... Talking about, you know, y'all remember the little stick mics that used to go to the old computers? Like, the little slender shits? Look like some weird sexual shit that's not what we're doing. Uh, but yeah, man, we had one of the motherfuckers in a little homemade booth and shit trying to get it. And um, going to Tally Ho in Lexington, Kentucky on campus and just trying to spit freestyles and shit. And it's just evolved into what it is now. And I mean, good lord, it would take me hours to tell you the whole story, but it's fucking beautiful. Well, <laughs> I heard both of you mention Bone Thugs more than once, so is it safe to assume that they're one of your influences? Oh, yeah, yeah. big time. For me, mainly Crazy Bone. Mm -hmm. who, all, who else would you describe as your all's musical influences? Oh, shit. Uh, Beatles, Kiss, um, and I know that's a weird clusterfuck of things to make an artist, but uh, Kiss's work ethic, uh, Beatles' like soul and like passion in music... And then Bone Thugs just coming in with both of those things, I felt like, and tearing it up really brought that into hip-hop. So, I mean, it's like, I do this really for the culture. It's, it's you know, I, I love my Juggalo homies. I love everybody in the wicked shit. I love all that shit. But, I mean, for me, it's for the culture as a whole. You know, this hip-hop culture thing. So, getting to and, you know, have my music influenced by those people really makes me pop, I think. Mm -hmm. And that that's what keeps me going there. Now, for people who haven't actually heard you, how would you describe your particular style of hip-hop? That's a good one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think we really fit into a particular box. Um, I think we've kind of created our own sound. Yeah. Um, you know, because of the influences, you know, it's, it's kind of a weird mesh-up. So, you know, 
I like to play with different styles. I like doing East Coast. I like doing West Coast. I like trying to, you know, see if I can do New York, you know, uh, Dirty South. Uh, I don't like to put myself in a box, you know, especially it's art. You know, I think our artist needs free range to express themselves in whatever fashion, you know, they, they see fit at that moment. Right. So um, I can't really put a, a specific label on the sound. The closest yeah. I can get on that, and I think um, if you listen, especially this new album, we put like a, the blues to it because we wanted to stay south without being dirty south. You know, we're from the south all the time, you know, shit, and getting it done that way. But where we like to be in so many genres, I really think we felt blues was the right baseline to stay at, per se. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. Snake South Park. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? Like, that's where we drew the line. We worked off that, so we could stay dirty south, but we could stay with our wicked shit. We could go anywhere off that. I mean, that lets you branch out in so many different ways, and that I think that's really what got us on this one. Yeah, we might turn into the Kid Rock of horrorcore. Who knows? Fuck you. We'll just try it. We'll do it all. You know. Fuck you. Know, but you. I mean, no, I was I was influenced by Bone Thugs a lot. Uh, Cypress Hill is a major one for me. Um, you know, of course. Um, <laughs> let's see, Three Six was a big one. Um, you know, I'm I'm a little bit older than him, so I got into a, an older era of music. Um, Fuck them, but I still listen to Frank Sinatra. I'm saying as far as hip hop, you know, with what I grew up with versus, I mean, I'm sure you know it. It's just I grew up. Yeah, you grew up with it, not I grew up learning it. So yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so. um, Stay there, yeah. Yeah, I like I like to play with it. Yeah. Yeah. Got your sex tape. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Okay. (laughs) Uh, Well, yeah, your all's new album Gehenna. You know, that just came out this year, right? Mm -hmm. What kind of response have y'all been getting? It's been a major response. It's been an awesome response. That's my response. Uh, we haven't got this type of love off of anything we don't. We got you know small bits here and there. This, off that one. This one's actually excelled us into the another level, uh, you know, a level that I thought would take us honestly a little more time to get to. And I mean, apparently they really dig it. So we kind of. Yeah, I mean, so many people hit us up on that one, and I I wasn't expecting this blindside to me. I mean, I know I've talked to you about it many times. That was a blindside. Um, yeah, the response has been really really. Great, we were well received. So I remember yeah. him calling me. He's like, "Is your phone blowing up? Like my phone's blowing up? Yeah. What, yeah. what do I do with it?" And he had to explain to me what to do with it because I don't know shit about that part of it. So thankfully, we got this guy. He's very knowledgeable in music. <laughs> if if it wasn't for kicks, this would not be fucking happening. Because I know how to write. I know how to produce. He's yeah. saying I handle the business shit. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. I handle. I handle. Networking and business. He's PR yeah. and every fucking thing. You know? I can't uh, handle that shit. I, I mean, I'll just be sitting there. You ask me a question, like, mm. yeah. <laughs> I'll go ahead and tell everybody right now. You know, just looking at the back. You know, for your all's first CD. I mean, you've already got you know extra overdose and Boondocks. You know, doing collabs with them. I mean, that's pretty big just on your first album. So I mean, how'd you guys get hooked up with extra and Boondocks? That'd be you. Uh, so extra. I, I came across Extra on one of his uh, YouTube videos, um, actually through Facebook, uh, I saw one of his videos and watched it on YouTube, and I I was hooked, like, I knew immediately, like, we have to work with this guy, you know, so um, I thought it would be a good fit, I liked the direction he was going, you know, what he's doing, and uh, so I, I approached him on some humble shit, and he was with it, so he's a super awesome guy, you know, the song came out great. His work ethic was amazing, you know. Yeah, I've worked with him anytime. Good dude. Yeah, he was super um, cool. I mean, I remember um, we were actually in here recording the track, and uh, we got a little turned around. Yeah, he actually sent us the wrong verse at first. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was like he, trying to match. I was like, what? yeah. So we're sitting here trying to match up the verse that he sent us with the track, and it's like, the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, like so. Like, I was trying to say I was so fucking mad. Yeah, like I we was didn't mad. Know. I was like, how the fuck am I supposed to fit this here? <laughs> so yeah, I called him. I'm like, hey, bro, uh, this this ain't working, man. Like, can you send us, you know, kind of an example yeah, of how so this, and he's like, he went dude, I sent you like, the wrong shit. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah. So he, he sent us the right track, man. It was golden. Um, as far yeah, as Boondocks. This cat didn't know me for shit. He, he, ta- he talked to uh, him well before he talked to me. 
We were sitting in here and uh, I... G to the O-T, H-I-C-G to the O-T, H-I-C-G to the O-T, H-I-C-4-L-I-F-E. Okay, editing is magic. So, <laughs> after that little problem of phones, let's continue with about how you got to with Boondocks. Yeah. So, actually, I hooked up with uh, Boondocks through Buckshot. And uh, we owe him majorly for that connection. Uh, he, had, uh, he had posted a thing. They were looking to do some collabs. And, uh, you know, I've, I've talked to Buck, you know, quite a few times. Uh, he's helped me out over the years with uh, business, you know, strategy and, and just different things. And uh, so I hit him up and, you know, hey, you know, we'd like to do the collab. And he was, he hooked us up with, you know, Boondocks and it, it went down. So yeah. Awesome. Shout out to you know both of them guys because that song that I think that's probably the best song on the whole album. So can't wait to hear it. Yeah, <laughs> best song on the whole album for me is Gihana. I mean, just that's me being biased. I love that shit. Uh, Kicks came in with a whole new style I've never seen him do before. It blew my fucking mind. So on the album, it's Gihana for me. But second favorite is mm -hmm. Drag You Down. So I mean. You freaked me out on that fucking album when you did that. I just, I just gotta put that out there. I was not expecting that from this man. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he sent me the first verse. I did my second verse, and he was, you know, we got in the studio, and he's like, "Just record me." And then da 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 da, like started fucking chopping and shit. I'm over here with the headphones in, like fucking threw them off me, like God damn, you know, <laughs> like shit. He just went the fuck in. I've never seen it before. It's decent, but it's not that good. No, <laughs> fuck you, man. Okay. Fuck you. That is but, my shit. Well, if you guys were on. Stranded on a desert island, and one of you died. Would you eat the other to stay alive? Yes. Fuck yeah, I'd eat him. Yeah. What would you eat first? Probably the toes. Eyeballs, man. They're squishy and easy to pluck them out, and you can mm. like eat them straight like fucking olives. Now you see why they call them Joey Crows. All right. Go for the eyes first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Check right. the album cover. Well, last question, <laughs> y'all. What has been your all's greatest challenge? Oh, uh, greatest challenge. Um, masturbation anonymous um, you know I've got an issue I can't help it I don't know what, what's your greatest challenge definitely with this shit <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I, I would say greatest challenge is uh, for me is looking past the negativity uh, you know because we've gotten some negative feedback and it it's hard not to take that personally when you put in as much as you have into what you do. Um, like, we actually ate shit uh, from some dude because we were performing The Gathering and Liquid Assassin hadn't been added. Which he actually is. Like, now he is, you know, but literally this dude, you know, jumped our ass because we're on The Gathering and Liquid Assassin wasn't. Yeah. It's, it's dealing with me not, you know, had, responding to shit like that. I called you and I was like... Go in. He's like, just be professional, bro. <laughs> yeah, just be professional. Yeah, that's the thing. You just got to stay professional. I mean, that's similar to my biggest challenge. I mean, because uh, after we got off Detroit Radio, there was a guy, I guess, watched it. And uh, he said some shit. Fucking oh, yeah, jug of losers. Ju jug ripping losers. off ICP. I was like, well, if he thinks yeah. we're ripping off ICP, he's never heard our music. He's just taking us because yeah. of what Paint. we're doing. Yeah. yeah, he's on face paint. So, I mean, shit like that does bug me. But my biggest challenge has been time. Time. There is so much fucking shit to do. Um, oh, wrap it up. Speaking of time, we're definitely out of it, dude. Right, well, <laughs> so, see my thank y'all for your time. Check them out at the gathering if you're going to the gathering of Juggalos. Flock to murder. Cannibal's house. Ciao. Ciao. CD till that shit's broken. Sorry about me losing focus. I'm a reject, baby. Case you hadn't noticed. Now flock to the murder. Just flock to the murder. Just flock to the murder. Just flock to the murder.